Just so many people are trying to deal with what has happened here in Humboldt, but none more so than the team president of the Humboldt Broncos, Kevin Geringer. Um, I can't imagine what it's been like for you the last 24 hours. For you, everyone that you know, how has the hockey club tried to deal with this? Uh, it's just uh, almost insurmountable, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you, Roger. It, it, it is insurmountable um, in some ways, but I can tell you that uh, I think one of the biggest things that uh, has been a, a major support for us has been the opportunity that we've had as a community to come together and to lean on each other, support one another through this extremely difficult and trying time. Um, our, uh, we, we, I mean, we find, found out about it uh, shortly after the accident. Um, I was in Edmonton and, and heard of, uh, ended up getting a call about it, whether it actually had happened. And so I contacted, eventually contacted the Nipwin Hawks president, and he was he's been just a rock in so many ways, and so was that organization. But um, they they uh, they provided us the information. We were able to know that in fact something horrible had happened. We didn't know how bad it was, and of course that was uh, that was to come. And so. Um, now we are dealing with, with the tragedy and and uh, the loss of our, our family members, and um, that's what we're now um, working hard to support each other, support our families, support our billet families, our ki our kids, um, who are so grateful are are here, and of course, doing everything we can to honor our our young people who are no longer with us, and our our coaching staff, and our um, you know our uh, you know the. We, we we had our um, radio personality um, on the bus and those types of things. So um, our st statistician. So um, and of course our we also had our uh, trainer. And so um, we recognize that uh, this has been an extremely trying time for all of us. But no no more trying than than everybody else. And so um, these families and everybody who's enduring is is really where our energy is focused right now totally understandable and and I know so many people other than immediate families and billets people that contribute to the young men's lives here I know you were a billet as well how are you trying to cope with everything it's a massive job but how are you trying to it's not easy um, I lost one of one of my kids um, and uh, I mean, I'm grateful we've, you know, for that uh, we we have some of our family still here, but those who are, are lost and, um, I mean, it's heart wrenching. It is uh, extremely challenging, um, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, you expect your kid to come home, and uh, he didn't. So. Um, yeah, we're doing everything we can. Again, we lean on each other, family, uh, friends, community. Um, this organization is just such a class organization right from every um, player and parent and everyone right through, of course, to every community member who just, I mean, they're here in grows, uh, droves and they're supporting what's happening and supporting each other. And that's so important at this time. So um, that's what we have to do. Uh, time is the ultimate healer and it's going to take a lot of time for us to to endure the loss that we've experienced during this difficult time. Kevin, we truly appreciate it. Our prayers are with you, you the much. community, the entire organization. Thank you very much.